What's up, everyone? So today, I'm, I did a little bit of homework. Uh, I set up a very simple Blender kind of setup, bringing in some lights, just a little bit of a camera so we can get rolling. And I brought in an object. You can get any object from Sketchfab, or you're probably already working one if you're trying to just like figure this out. And then I brought an empty, which you'll see is pretty crucial. It's something I like to use whenever I'm modeling um, highly like dense objects with just like a lot of different like models linked to it. So anyways, if you are starting at a stage where you don't know like how this all looks a certain way, how is it, why is all this set? Please, please just let me know in the comment section below and I can create um, that for you. So let's jump right on in. So the first thing we need to do is let's just go ahead and parent our, which I already have kind of set up. The way I parent these two together is I'll click my model and then I'll hold down shift and bring it to my MD. And what that will do is we brought in our little empty by pressing shift A and get your plane axis. When you have your empty, you'll notice that the knife that I have here has its own like rotation and everything set up. So it looks nice, right? It's not starting at zero, but when you bring in an empty, everything is starting fresh from zero and you can pretty much just like make the simplest. You don't have to do crazy math. You can just like rotate 360 degrees, et cetera, et cetera. Let's start by setting up our playing field here. So what I like to do is just cut this into and then let's slice it again horizontally. And I'll keep one just in the model kind of view just so I can kind of see that going on. And then I'll create a graph editor. Now, what I recommend everyone to do, let's say you have it, um, if it's your first time in Blender, you might want to check your preferences and just make sure around animation that your default interpolation is set to linear. With that being said, now what we're gonna just do is we're gonna do a little rotation here. So what I'll do is just insert a keyframe by right clicking down on Z. And then I'll press shift in my right um, directional arrow key and jump to the last frame here. And then what I'll do is I'll make it 360, right click, insert another keyframe. Make sure you're starting from zero too. This is a very crucial step. Either it's gonna be zero or 251. I personally just like zero. So essentially what that does is it makes your, if we were just go with this, it's gonna perfectly loop and you're, you're done. Like <laughs> you're done, like it's gonna be great. Now what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of like bounce to it. I like to give it that object, kind of like video game kind of vibe. Now I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. I'm just gonna make it a bit bigger. What you do is you're gonna go ahead and put in a keyframe on that Z location. Now open up my graph editor, let's just hide the rotation because we don't need that. And within this Z location, you're gonna go into modifiers, add modifier, noise, oops, noise. Now I could explain each of these, but I'm just gonna show you what one of my favorite kind of setups are because if you don't change anything, you'll see with the noise, it's just like, what the fuck is going on? What I do is I'll up the scale, which will make it a bit smoother, you'll see. And then what I do is I turn down the strength around like 0 0.2. And I play around with a little bit of the offset. The offset is just a bit of like some time. I found 10 works with me. And the phase is just like a seed. And you'll see now we kind of have like an animation. It just doesn't loop. Now what you're going to want to do is restrict the frame rate, frame range, start zero and 250. And you'll see this is kind of happening in your graph editor here. Sometimes I like to make it a bit bigger like this, just so I can see what's going on. I did that all with my mouse scroll wheel by holding down uh, control or command. And the blend in, I'll bring it into about 10 so that it goes 10 frames in and then the blend out, I'll go about 10 as well. 
That way it stops and it starts. So if you look, what you want to do is a very quick way I'm making sure that things are looping here is look at your last frame, look at your starting frame, I mean your end frame. If they're the same, that means you've perfectly looped it. And then if I click play, you'll see the knife now has a bit of a bounce to it. And it loops. So a little touch up sometimes, let's say uh, you don't want it to go like, or be as, uh, how do you say, intense with these kind of graphs, graph lines. I just sometimes just pick a little division, divide by two again. And what that does, it makes it even smaller in terms of the strength and the object won't move as much, but it's still moving. And that's pretty much how I get this all set up. And you can, because of the nice little cheat code that I have here, because of the, the empty bring in, you can bring in any other object and you'll see here, I kind of did that. So if I toggled this off, you'll see I have another knife already, but they're all parented towards another empty that I have set up. And if I bring uh, some of these things are off, like a logo, and the animation data is just all in this empty. So it saves you a lot of time from doing this from each one, but you just parent them. A little cheat code that I saw. But I'll go ahead and write down some of the details in terms of the noise and scale and all that stuff. And from there, you just pretty much go ahead and render it out and you're done, practically. All right, homies. So we finished our latest tutorial hopefully i get to see some of the things you create i feel like this is something pretty simple but something was telling me that it doesn't hurt uploading some of the simple basics to you know building blocks that you can build lol that you can build for your project so feel free to um rotate an object on a platform or rotate it within a forest or rotate a huge amount of things you know there's a lot of things you can do with it but let me know if this was something that you found useful at your level and like always give yourself a nice pat on the back you know for showing up and rocking out on blender um i'm hoping to I'm planning on continuing to create more so I'll be diving through a lot of the old comments and just like finding how I can hook you up with the sauce. Anyways, peace out.